we know that by the very nature of this family we have come to realize that we are pregnant in the Paris. And you cannot be primus in the Paris just verbally. If you are primus in the Paris, you have to be first among equals. The vicissitudes of life and the challenges, the exigencies of life and the challenges of the moment from time to time have shifted us, tossed us up and down, but we were hopeful and confident that we are on the march. Today we are celebrating our Padrona feast, which by the grace of God happens to be the feast of all believers in Christ. All over the world, the feast of our college and our patron is being celebrated because Christ is the king of the universe. He is not the king of Ghana or Russia or America or Europe or Africa. He is the king of the universe. The kingship of Christ is forever. He has no territorial boundaries. Kingdoms rise and fall. They are limited in time and space. They are limited by the territories where they cover. They are limited by the time they reign. But the kingship of Christ goes on. It goes on and it is forever. The distinguishing mark of the followers who will enter this kingdom will be to feed the hungry, to give drink to the thirsty, to welcome the stream, welcome strangers, to clothe the naked, to visit the sick, visit the prisoners, of, and of course attend to them, not just visiting them, but to attend to their needs. In summary, to attend to the needs of the needy. So to our Archbishop, our Father, our Shepherd, our Proprietor, we say a very big welcome and a very big thank you for a litany of reasons. We thank you for being here today to celebrate our patronal feast, the feast of Christ the King, Christus Vincit, Christus Regnat, Christus Schimperat. We thank you for your overall interest in CKC, not only as our proprietor, but as an alumnus of this noble college. And we thank you for your overall interest in the youth and in their education. Your grace, since you came on board as the Archbishop of Onitsha, schools in the Archdiocese and in Anambra State at large, have witnessed a quantum leap in terms of development. Our Archbishop is a Sacerdotal King, he possesses Potestat Iuris and as a Christian leader he has taught us by word and example that leadership is influence driven by moral authority.